What's up guys? Today is Thursday. That means it's Mac Daddy Tools Thursday. Mac Daddy Thursday. So come on. Good morning. Morning, morning. How's your week been? Oh, I can't complain. Busy, busy. I know the feeling. <laughs> That's the way we like it. Oh, yeah. That's the way we like it. Looks like you got something new up there today already. Yeah, that's what I was getting out for you to look at. I know how you like your little tool kits. Mm -hmm. It, uh, they, uh, cool. come in a little plastic box, two different kits, and it's got a spring loaded latch on it, too. Man, yeah, look at that. Pretty neat little got kit. Some bits and... To me, that, that, that kit right there would be perfect for like a put in a boat or a side by side mm -hmm. or, or a four wheeler or something like that if you did a lot of riding on the weekends. That'd be handy dandy. I like them. How bad are they? Uh, that's what I was looking up. I just put them on here last night. Uh, the big set is 149. Okay. And the little set's 119. And they got them in green and orange. Huh. That big set is pretty nice. Was that a go up to a 14? I believe so. Yes. 5 to 14, probably. So. Yeah, that's a nice little kit. And they're the pre precision torque sockets. 5.5. Yeah, I thought that looked like a 5. Hmm. That's pretty cool right there. Pretty nifty. And it's one, pretty much 150 for the big set and 120 for the little set. Yep. That's cool. I yeah, like that. Yeah. They're pretty neat. And, um, got our five piece mag trays back on sale again. Um, they're, uh, what are they, like a hundred bucks? 99.99 for your. Cheap enough. Uh, what is it? One, two, three, four, seven piece set. Wow. So it's your four mag, your three mag, your two twos, your two ones, and then the uh, nut cup. So I like that big one that's in that set. Mm -hmm. Yep. I little, didn't know that y'all had a chainsaw. We do. That's the DeWalt oh, one. We got it for, uh, but that's the bare tool for 159 pretty cool right there. And then I also got the uh, pole saw kit there on sale right now too. So, What did you say the chainsaw was? 159 I believe, bare tool. Heck. 20 volt. And then the the tr uh, limb saws, how much are they? 219. Man, that's good. Mm -hmm. Comes with your battery and charger and everything. I wonder how that compares to the Milwaukee. I've sold some of them and they like them. So. I think a battery operated chainsaw for a guy that don't use one every month or every couple months, mm -hmm. that's the way to go. I ain't got to worry about that ethanol gas because there ain't nothing suck worse than working on something to work. Yep. <laughs> I got to work on something before I can go to work with it. Um, and then that's like my dad, he bought one of the electric ones just because, you know, He's getting to where he don't want to have to pull on something to crank it, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, he loves it. Well, I wonder how them are weight-wise compared to a gas one. Light. I'm sure they're probably lighter than a gasoline engine. I mean, that's all packaging and everything. Oh, crap. I think it weighs probably <laughs> four pounds. <laughs> 
Yep. Well, I guess the weight's really in the battery, though, when you... It is. Well, yeah, a lot of it. Um, and how big a battery you put on it. Pretty I was going to see tool weight only is 8.1 pound. Hmm, that was off. I, I guessed it about four, but... <laughs> That's a heavy box, is what it is. Yeah, that's a... That'd be nice to have right there. Mm-hmm. Well, yep. that's definitely going to be on my list of things to get, for sure. Cause Got our four-piece hammers on sale now, too. Yeah. How bad are they? Those are da, 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 135 this month. Oh, that's not bad. For this at all. That's <laughs> pretty good deal, yeah. actually. For four hammers. That's pretty good. Yep. Boy, them right there are some long picks, ain't they? Mm-hmm. Holy cow. Heavy duty ones too. Probably your radiator hoses loose. Mm-hmm. That's nice too. Show sure enough. Well, y'all been selling a bunch. I've been busy, thankfully. It's been crazy around here. Holy cow. As you can tell, crap sitting all in the parking lot. Yeah. Everywhere else. It's been rough this week. A lot of shops saying they've been slow lately, but. Man, we've had more and more. I know what to do with this week. Man, drives me nuts. That's good. Getting parts is what sucks right now. And it ain't just with Napa, you know. It seems like it's everywhere, even Ford. And mm -hmm. O'Reilly's is having some issues. So. I guess just so many places shut down and wasn't making them. I that once know. they ran out of their supply, you know, Mm -hmm. Until they get them made back up for availability. Man, it's been it's been rough the last two weeks for sure. Oh sure. But this week, man, I've been so busy. I ain't had time to do nothing. Like it's just drop this job because I'm waiting on parts and go to another, and only to trace it down to find out got to wait on parts for it. Pull another one in. Start tearing it down, get everything figured out, and guess what? I ain't no parts for it. Jeez. <laughs> but I mean, it has. five jobs waiting on parts. That's not, it's going to be hell when they all come in. So, which I just got one in while ago from FedEx. So, we'll be able to get one hole open. That'll be good then. Now, that's another good one they got right now, too. All those remote hose clamp pliers. Well, right now, if you buy the coolant pressure tester, mm -hmm. you get the hose clamp plier deal for free. Can't beat that. So and that's generally like 120 bucks. Mm -hmm. so, I've got a pair of them. I don't use them very much, but when you need them, they show sure are handy. <laughs> need them to get off in there. That's about all that to get in there. Yeah. And the way everything's getting smaller and more compact, and it's just... Them right there, they got their place in this world for sure. Absolutely. Full show. So. I don't guess I need nothing today. Thankfully, I ain't had nothing else break. So, hopefully, that'll be the end of the breaking for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> man, I had it rough this week. I had a, which last week I broke that RBRT bit, and then I, I broke a snap on bit yesterday I had to go to my service truck and get a thankfully I had the Astros in there to be able to finish that job but I don't know just breaking everything else seems like so it's the way it goes from time to time but I guess it could be worse yeah I could have not had the tool I needed like a spare when it broke so you ain't got but two of them little baby nitpicks left. They must be selling good. They they have. They have. It, uh, mixed reviews on it. You know, yeah. a lot of folks are saying after they bought them that they're too small. But <laughs> I like the little pair like these. I still use them a lot. But I guess my most, like 
you know, if I had that pouch you was talking about, mm -hmm. that would probably be my go-to right there. But them's just a little too big to keep in your pocket. Yeah. But if I had one of those pouches, hopefully you'll uh, be able to get some of them because that's probably what I'll My guy said he's supposed to. to be having a dozen made. He's just waiting on them to get them done for him. So. Cool. I'd like to have one of them. You know how bad they're going to be? I don't. I'm going to say he said he paid generally around like 20 bucks a piece for him or something like that. Oh, but bad. it's really good thick leather. Mm -hmm. Amish, man, they make some good stuff. They do. They make some really good stuff. I mean, they wear them every day. Uh, every, everybody at that shop pretty much has one. They wear them every day, and they said they get a couple years out of them. We had that guy over there at the Amish make us a redwood. It's made out of redwood. Uh, swing, porch swing. Oh, I bet that's pretty. Man, it's the most comfortable because the way you put the curves in it. And um, then we went back and had him make two Adirondack chairs and a table. And he'll write you a letter when he gets them done. And you go back over and pick them up. Mm -hmm. But uh, we went over there and they've got this thing. He, his little boy, was actually putting them together. And when I say little boy, I'm talking about like five. Like he was cutting all the pieces and sanding them and all this. And that little boy had this, it was like a hand drill. And he was running those square head screws in there, like three inch screws with mm -hmm. a hand drill. Yep, it's very interesting. Hmm. Like that little dude's, he was ripped. Oh yeah, Like you were saying his little arms, you know, he little baby bodybuilder, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh. You know, they was really nice folks, you know, and, and I grabbed one of the chairs and he's like, no, 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 we'll load it for you. He didn't want me to pick it up. Yeah. I was like, okay, whatever. Hmm. Really nice quality stuff and that redwood stuff, you know, it holds up to, like, I don't know where he gets redwood to build all that out of, but. They have to order it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they ain't none in Mississippi, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> And he had some cypress, um, a bunch of stuff made out of cypress. And of course, it'll last forever too, you know. But it was expensive because it was redwood. It was like three times what the cypress one was. Right. But, and you could tell it was old lumber too. It wasn't fresh cut. Like it was old, old season lumber that they got from somewhere. And uh, Interesting. How long have y'all had it? She Probably six years. We, and he said, you don't have to put nothing on it. You don't have to put any kind of stain, no sealer, unless you want to. Right. He's like, it won't rot. The only place that's bad on it is where my dog chewed on it. <laughs> <laughs> and then he got a spanking and he decided he didn't want to chew on it no more. So. I like going over there, too, just to watch, you know, the way they they live and, and work. You know, it's, it's pretty neat. To, it is. I wouldn't want to trade lives with them because they actually work hard <laughs> just to live, you know. Yeah. But I mean, it's impressive to. Now, I mean, which, I respect which ones them do y'all go to? The one at Pontotoc. Yeah. But which we, you know, we went up to Lynchburg and uh, or Lawrenceburg to those up there too. But they definitely work, you know. You can't you can't knock them for that. Yep. So. Well, I guess we're going to get in here since then. Alrighty. FedEx brought them parts. That means I got to go to work now. All right, guys. Like always, thanks for watching. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Merchandise over here, cool tools, discount codes, all that good stuff in the description. And click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. You guys have a great week, and we will catch y'all next time. See ya.